Hello there. Now, it's been a while since I've done a LEGO update, but I am continuing on the Superhero Food Tower, of course. Last, well, last month now, I think it was 37 days ago. That's five weeks and two days ago since my last City update, but we've done a lot since then. And that was when I created my Superhero Calf, which is roughly based on a subway, but also themed towards the Superhero Calf from how it should have ended. We're going on a similar tangent today with the pub from Deadpool, but I have sort of themed it between Deadpool and the villain's pub, also from how it should have ended, which, if you didn't know, is where the idea of the villain's pub comes from, the original Deadpool movie, again featured in the second, most likely going to pop up in the third one as well, and I think I've done a really good job with this. I'm happy with the effort I've put in. I definitely haven't spent over a month on it, but over the last week, I've been adding, changing things, and... Let's take a look at how it turned out. So first off, I would just like to appreciate what an absolute brick that this level has turned out to be. There wasn't really any chance for windows. It's a very secluded off pub and I've done what I can to make it look as appealing as possible. These are the two sides seen from the Lego City. So we've got this above the entrance to the subway below it. And this is just up the side. So you can see I've tried to blend the paint out a bit and just to make the walls a bit more interesting, we've got so many different modified bricks, each in different orientations, I guess, all the way around, all four sides of this. Of course, we need a door. I've positioned this against the side of the unit. That way, you're not seeing a door just hanging over the second story of a tower as this is going above the subway. As I mentioned, I have somewhat got a head start on the next build there is going to be a shawarma takeaway place i don't really know how i'm going to do it because originally in the mcu when they are having their shawarmas there's big arches on the side but i could always position them towards the wall hide the arches and still have it open at the back or perhaps even two sides so that's going to be really fun to try and build but that's what's going on top and then I can't remember what's going on top of that, but I have already built the place for the base for the shawarma place even, which is definitely confusing the more times you say it. And the only problem with the base is because I've connected it using three studs at the side, it's really connected down very, very well. So as you can see, the base sort of pops off. So I'm definitely brainstorming an idea to get the base easier on and off than pulling the whole thing apart every time I want to. I have seen some people customise modular builds with slopes on the side rather than all tiling off besides the studs. So that is definitely something I am looking at and I might even go back and customise a few of my other builds. I think I tried it with one of them, but for some reason I haven't continued it. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different techniques I have implemented here. First off, if you've watched my video from Monday, You'll notice something very interesting about the door handle just at the top of the model. If you can spot it, I have used one of the clone range finders for the door handle. And if you want more techniques like that and different ways you can use these smaller micro pin pieces, definitely check out that video because there are quite a few different fun techniques. And also what you can see is that I've managed to squeeze a bunch of different seats in i mean we've got three stools at the bar we've got two four six eight ten seats around their own separate tables and to be fair i could have even squeezed the seat just down here so we've got a total of 13 seats of course we had to have the man papa palpatine behind the bar because that is who is the bar server waiter in the villains pub and right behind, we've got all the bottles. Originally in Deadpool, they did have a bunch of fridges there, which I really wanted to recreate. But to be able to get the bottles in, I would have had to bought the wall out a little bit more than I already did. And I could have done it if I had some panel and window pieces in this nice dark red. But I just don't have any in dark red, red, and pretty much exhausted all my bricks in this wall. Now, we do have... What well, I started off as a miniature chalkboard up here and then has sort of become this top TV perhaps with the news playing or perhaps this is some sort of vent, this could be some aircon, this could be a radio playing up here for everyone to listen to but originally it was meant to be a chalkboard and 
became everything else just up there in the corner hopefully you can see it against the dark red and as for the mini figures i fit in here we'll go over them first i think we've got two i think they were called aim unit soldiers from marvel i got these in the pack with it might have been falcon and black widow it was black widow and someone awesome arm printing on that black widow but I don't really know anything about these soldiers. I don't know what they're meant to represent. If they have popped up in the MCU. If they're from a comic. I'm not really sure why Lego chose to go with them. I would have much rather got some of the other creatures. Even from the first Avengers movie. The Chitari, I think they were called. They would have been great to have. Of course we've got the Cyberman from the Lego Dimensions pack. It's a really cool figure. It's a little shame that they didn't include this in the ideas set. I'm not quite sure when the idea set come out in regards to dimensions. I'm pretty sure it was a while after. And because the Cyberman can't drink, he's actually got a oil can in his left hand, which I just think is a very funny, I don't know if it's an Easter egg or just a reference to them being robots rather than human. I guess cyborgs as they are both robot and human. We've got Homer, of course, couldn't have anyone else but Homer in a pub. And we've also got Captain Jack. He's come down off his perch above the tunnel in the city and he's now drinking at the bar. He finally has a place to drink. He's still got the same bottle of grape juice that he is drinking or perhaps it's a new one he's just got. And we've also got the Marshmallow Man. I think the Marshmallow Man was also from Lego Dimensions. We then have Lord Business or President Business in his golf uniform from the Lego Movie 2 CMF. And he's also in the pub. As it is a villain's pub, he is the villain of the first Lego movie. So it's only fitting I include him. And we've also got Joker and Penguin playing a game of pool here. Very happy with how the pool table worked out. I've just used a bunch of round bricks to hold it up. We've got some jumper plates as well. And really just a bunch of different pieces that really bring it together. Of course, it wouldn't be the Deadpool pub without the Deadpool. This is the giant chalkboard where... They'd write the names of the people they think aren't going to outlive the others and whoever's right, I guess, wins some money based on how much they have bet, which is also a fun reference from the movie. And overall, the pub looks quite good. When I was looking at images of the pub, there are a bunch of photographs on this wall. And as it's a pub, normally they're photos of older people and usually something to do with the pub. Or in fact, I think this used to be a school or perhaps was a pub from a school so I don't exactly know the reference I know it's something to do with the comics but I've got a bunch of our spare Harry Potter wizard cards from the chocolate frog tolls in the 2x2 two two and hung them all along the wall you can see one of them is even hanging off the wall just here which I haven't hidden that stud because of course Lego needs the two studs to hang on straight and firm so Having it hanging off with one stud there is the alternative to, in the real world, seeing a loose nail that perhaps hasn't hooked it on properly. We do have a few duplicates here of the duplicates, and I have completed the full panel of wizard cards for the Harry Potter display. So if you do want to see that, there is a video, I think it was one of the old Bricklink videos, so you can definitely find that on the channel, and I think it just brings it all together now you will notice none of these walls pull out and that is just because I would rather have had it a bit more structurally intact at some point I definitely want to make this the fake wall because I think that would look better than anything else but we had frames on this wall we've then got the pool and the door on this wall of course this wall is the bar which I could probably even make this wall removable because all the bottles are built in to this wall. But because of my, I guess, lack of dark red pieces, I have used every dark red piece I own except for one one by one brick. At least that I've got spare. So you can see I've had to use some corner brackets to keep it in here. Perhaps what I could do is keep the corner brackets and find a way to just make this middle bit of the wall removable. Perhaps move the bar over, but... That's something I can do in a update. As you can see, the door does open as fully as it can with that handle. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. So I'm going to place it in the city, probably take a few photos for you and then wrap up the video. 
So coming over to the city, you can see that the bar does look very nice above the Subway Superhero Cafe. If you haven't seen that video, there is another he, she reference just by that window there and definitely check it out. But now we've got the bar, we've got the shawarma place that is going on top of that. And then next to Big Bang, we do have a quite a decent space. I've realized that this bar does come up an extra brick to the friend's flat there. Actually, I think it's an extra two bricks there because I've just built that a little differently, but there is enough space to get another two platforms on the top here because over for the sitcom tower, I've built an extra top bit to the Big Bang flat. And again, all of these have their own videos, even some of the roadworks and that. Thank you all for your comments and suggestions on making a porch and something for this. That is going to be its own update, which I'll probably tackle before the shawarma place because I'm really excited with all the different things I can do for that area just down there. And as far as the rest of it goes, we've got the Lego Tower. I still need to fill in the interior for the Lego Museum. Still not quite sure what I'm going to put there. I'll probably just put a bunch of older pieces and... I have a few like Bionicle pieces that aren't used anymore. I'll probably whack one of them in there and a few other bits. And then we've got our animal tower. We've got the sea life. We have the giant fish tank and the farm. I would love to move the farm up one and perhaps get another something in the middle there. But as far as animals go, perhaps I can have a little daycare place for your animals. And of course, we've still got the lo-fi girls flat built into the rockwork on the right no lo-fi girl because it was using two of my CMFs that I needed, but the rest of it does look really cool. There's definitely a gap where Jack used to be just on the edge of this tunnel, but so far I am very happy with the city and especially now that we've got another building complete. So that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed these city updates as we are coming so close to completing the city. We've got, as I said, the shawarma place to build on top of the pub. And then another build. I really can't remember what the top of the tower was going to be. So I have to rewatch my last video. And perhaps you can leave your comments down in the description suggesting what I should build for the top of this superhero food tower. Any other superhero related food place will do. Or perhaps even some place to rest after they've eaten all this food. But let me know down below what you think I should add on top of the tower. If you want to see more of this video, do let me know by leaving a like just down below and do subscribe for more awesome Lego content. Thank you so much for all the subscribers recently. We've still got so many of you that aren't subscribed, so make sure you subscribe before you click off this video. And as always, may the bricks be with you.